Hello, it's Paul here. I'm going to give you a really quick um, visual demo today of whether you should call your YouTube channel your name or a brand name. I'm going to use golf as an example because I put together some golfing lists showing who's the most popular this month and who's which channels are moving. Um, uh, so that's what I, I looked at a lot. And I've got a person on this list I think should change the name a little bit. But... I want to show you, if you're some sort of coach thinking of YouTubing, let's have a look at the actual stats and see what you think you should call yourself. Is it your name or have you got some coaching brand name you think you should call it? I've gone through a few changes on my channel. I was uh, Blue Jeans Media, I was Happy Me Business, and now I'm just Paul Nicholson introducing because that's what I do. I introduce platforms and I find that my name gets better comments and it gets more subscribers and i'm going to try and prove it to you so i have a list of five the hundred the 100 uh, top youtube golfers golf channels on youtube all stats taken from social blade uh on the widget from this page that i create which isn't loading where i put all the youtube channels in order and i've taken the stats and i've i've put it into a spreadsheet so obviously rick shields is number one and you're going to see all all the brands have got a little orange tint to them uh, and the name or name and golf or if they put the brand name and put the name i've put it in green so if their name is in there golf is a bit of a uh, you might have to decide on that one if their name's there it's in green if it's not it's in orange right so if i quickly sort this so if i sort it to type uh, and go here you're going to see a hundred golf channels the top 100 and 51 of them have gone with the brand name 51 have gone brand name two have gone brand and name and then the final what's that 47 have either got just their name i think there's 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 2021, I kind of jumped that quick. I could have just added up with the stats there, couldn't I? Um, what's that? 55 to 74. I thought it was 19. I don't know why I said that. 19 have just got their name. And then the final seven, 25, 26 have gone name and golf. So they've all gone, look, name and golf. So pretty much a 50-50 split on that top 100. And when I go back to sort into the list before and show you the uh, total subs order it's pretty it's pretty um uh mixed bag at the top 20 there um there's what one two three four five six seven eight nine of the top 20 21 have got brand and obviously 11 have got uh brand uh, i've got their name or name and golf right so no big difference there now what I've got on this list is a lot of big, big com channels. Look, PGA Tour. Um, there's a European Tour there, right? European Tour. Um, who else is in there? That's J this is a Korean uh, TV ch channel uh, and things like that. So if I go now and remove some of them, I'm going to keep coming back to this list because it's all the top 100. But I'm just going to remove to just YouTubers. So when we look at that top 25, right, this top 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, 11 of the top 25 are brand names. But when I remove like Golf Digest uh, and stuff like that, what happens? Here's the top 25 that are just YouTubers. All of a sudden, when it's just dedicated YouTube channels, like you're probably doing your own, you're starting your own vlogs, your own videos, your own channels. All of a sudden, of the top 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, only 8 of the top 25 are brands. In the top 5, only 1 is just the brand name, right? Obviously, top Clay Ballard's got his name and the brand. But only 1 of the top 5 is a brand. Only 2 of the top 10, right? The first row is number one. Two of the top ten are brands. And three of the top 15 are brands. And finally, only five of the top 20 
our actual brand names, right? Everything else is the person's name. So I'm going to go through some more stats. I'm going to go back to the other list where it's everybody again and talk about other things. But do me a favor, pause me at this point, write in the comments, wherever you're watching it, what are you thinking now? Where are you at with your channel or your creative project? Are you a business looking to do a YouTube channel or are you a person thinking about YouTube, thinking about um, how you're going to do it, what you're going to do, and you're torn between maybe some name and uh, a brand name or your name, or you're just seeing your genre or whatever you're doing, um, whatever niche you're in, what do you see in your niche? Is it is it brand name or is it is it uh, individual's name, personal name, right? Just pause me. Tell me what you're thinking right now. Then we'll go into a few more things. Right. I've turned Antique's road trip off in the background so you can't hear it. Um, let's let's go back and talk uh, a little bit more. Let's delve into some more stats and let's try and explain what happens when you choose one or the other. The way I see it, and if you disagree with me. Absolutely push in the comments. Tell me why. I'm gonna go back to the all the list, right? And this time we're currently filled to we're, we're currently in um subscribers, total subscriber numbers, right? So I'm gonna actually filter this to um see how many views, total views, right? So we can see down here total views. Let's go here, and now we can see a few brands have turned up now. A lot of brands are in that list from subscriber numbers, but these are TV channels, these are um, magazines, these are uh, tours, right? These are big companies. These are, um, what am I going to say here? Uh, one of them's going to be Golf Channel, right? And the other one's going to be Callaway Golf. This is this is literally a big, big sporting brand, selling clubs, selling gear, selling everything, Um Golf Digest, another magazine, European Tour, PGA Tour. So these big, big companies are getting a lot of views. So if you're planning to become a huge company and that's your role, then the brand may be the answer, right? But then let's go to this list where we've taken out all those big companies and we're just doing it for YouTubers, right? So again, I'm going to sort via total views. And again, the top, what's that? Eight there's only one uh, non-branded name, right? Um, obviously, Rotary Swing, GM Swing. We've got a couple of patches of names, but again, out of the out of the top, what's the, it's top twenty-five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only nine of twenty-five are just the brand name. Yes, there's a few that have got brand and. So even still. When you're looking at that total number and you're seeing a lot of brands hitting more views, you're going to see um, it still doesn't equate to whether it's a good idea for individuals, vloggers, anything that's dedicated YouTube. To me, this this list is they're, they're selling more merch than they're making money on YouTube. So any of these channels that are here that are not, you know, PGA Tours YouTube channel is not their priority. Neither is it Golf Digest or Callaway Golf, is it? But this is your priority if you're going to be a YouTuber, right? If you've got other aspirations and you want to go off and do other things, fair enough. If you're going to sell a lot of merch, then the the YouTube channel may become secondary. But when we when we filter to just YouTubers, again, the ones with the names are definitely at the top, right? So let's look at channel growth, and then we're going to finish with um, the stat that I think really shows you across all the uh, everybody what's going to happen. So let's have a look at which channels are growing the most. Are they brands or are they individuals? So again, sort range. This time I'm going to go 30 day subs. ZA. So these are the these are the channels that got the most subs in the last 30 days, and that's a pretty good spread, isn't it? I mean, uh, there's probably more brands there than. Still the top ones, one, two, three, four. It's obviously five, six. There's there's still six in the top ten are individuals, but there's a big clutch of these brands. But again, these are big, big brand names, aren't they? Big brands, me and my sorry, European Golf, PGA Tour. What happens when we filter out the big brands again? 
Maybe I shouldn't have even included the big brands, but I just wanted to show you everything. You know, because if I hadn't, if I'd have, if I'd have not shown you them, you would have said, "Oh, well, you needed to show this." So let's have a look. So yeah, last thirty day subscribers, the brands are doing a little bit better, aren't they? Um. So they probably hold their own. Still, again, the top, top channels are just name or brand and name. But then there's a spate of, of the, you know, the, what's that, 6 to, to 15 or to 20. A lot of brand names have popped in there. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Golfaholics. And again, if you're, if you're more than one person like the Golfaholics, me and my golf, maybe you need to go with brand. But... The last 30 days, the brands, they're holding their own, aren't they? I think they're holding their own as an idea. Right, let me show you the final stat. Let me show you what the stat is for average amount of subs. How many views do you need per sub? So again, let's go back here. Let's filter back to... Let's go back to... Um, uh, duh, duh. Oh, let's highlight, right? Sort range. Let's go back to subs, right? So it's so in the background we have a list of subs. Uh, that didn't work, did it? Sort range, column, total subs. There we go. So we're back to a reset. This is a total subs. Now I, what I want to do is look at um, subs per view. I want this stat, and we're going to filter again for that stat. Right, so sort range, subs per view. How many views on average to get a subscriber? Z to A. Oh, no, this is A to Z because we want this number to be low. Sort, right? Here they are. All, all channels. Not even the big brand names taken out. What's this? Uh, top 20. Top 20 is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are brands. On average, Matt Fryer Golf's taking 11 views to pick up a subscriber. So's Paige Spirinak. Rob McGrath, 12 subs, 12 views. Alex Etcher's Golf, right? So we're interested, how many views is it taking to pick up a subscriber? Now, yes, there's going to be recurring, recurring views from subscribers. But when you look at the total views versus how many subscribers you've got, there must be a lot of people watching new content. And if we scroll to the bottom, look at the bottom on this one. Look at look at the stats for, you know, what's this? The last 20? This is the last 20 on the page here. 81 to 101, right? There's only one, two, three, four. There's only five people on that list uh, when it comes to the bottom 20, right? So, obviously, Swing Surgeon Golf. I don't know. It takes nearly 1,300 views before he picks up a subscriber. Yes, it's a questionable stat. But of the top 20, and if you go there to top 25, if we go to there to top 25, that's top 25. Rick Shields, according to this, is taking nearly 300 views to pick up a subscriber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the top 20, of the bottom 25 are individual channel names. Right, so what I'm saying is, I'll come back to conclusion. The, the, the start of this is it's easier to pick up subscribers. I'm pretty sure I can state that if you use your name. People want to subscribe to people, right? So if I do it on the filtered version again uh, and see what this says. So I go sort range. Let's go back. Let's go back to subs. Z to A, right? So let's let's. this is now the big. We're going to do the same thing with the uh, big channels filtered out. Just to see what the YouTubers alone get. This may be more of a, a spread. Oh, have I highlighted everything there? Oh, yeah, I did. Let's have a look, right? A to Z on... Uh, I don't know if this channel's got it, has it? Oh, there it is. Purview A. It's further down the line. There it is. A to Z. And again, the top. Top, what, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, probably the same as before. Um, it's easier as an individual to pick up to pick up subscribers. Right, down the bottom again, Tor Striker. Right, we don't know his name. Who's the Tor Striker? Golf Smart Academy, what's your name? 
These may be individual channels. These may be individual vloggers. But what's your name? We don't know who you are, right? Be better golf. Golf tech. Two simple adjustments, right? You're getting good views, but it's taking a lot. This is the number here. This is how many views per average uh, subscriber. And all it is 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 basically the total views on your channel divided by subscribers, right? It's not a it's not a perfect science, but it's it's an idea to understand that people's names pick up subscribers easier. So. Hopefully that's helped you. Hopefully it's given you some ideas. I know I've waffled on a bit, and but I've tried to give you some actual stats. You know, the big stat at the end of the day is total subscribers. Um, you know, and a lot of people. But if you look at the stats of how many views versus how many subscribers, who's picking up more subscribers for less work? Are people liking channels where they don't know who's the creator name, or do they connect more with the creator name? I wish I had stats like how many comments. And um, what about comments on a big channel? Probably ruder. PGA Tour. I can imagine if you go through the the comments on the PGA Tour and the comments on um, European Tour and Callaway Golf and things like that. I can, I can imagine the comments are quite rude, even though we know YouTube can be like that anyway. Where also you're not going to get personalised comments. We're going to say, hey, you know, Paul. I get everybody. Everybody who generally comments on mine goes, hey, Paul, nice video, decent video. How do I do this? And they ask a question. They like to know your name. I've tried it both ways, and I think it's better as your name. Another thing I think is better as your name is you don't do anything shady tactics when it's in your name. If you, um, if you think, well, what I'll do is I'll do this. Uh, I'll do something um, confrontational or I'll do something I don't believe in, unethical in a way, or something I don't quite... But when it's not your name and it's just it's just something... Um, you think, well, I'll try this. I'll put this out there and I'll do something to try and hack and get more views or I'll try and... Um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. You just do something you don't believe in. When it's not your name. When it's your name on that channel. When it's your name on that business. I think you're a lot more ethical. And that might not, not be fair to people who aren't. Um, downside of doing that. If you're looking for exit strategy. If you're looking for. I want to build a YouTube channel. I want to build a business. I want to build a clothesline or something. And you want to sell it. Obviously, if it's in your name, you can't sell it. You can't just pass that channel off to somebody else and say, here's Paul Nicholson introducing. Now Dave Smith introducing is doing it. I mean, you probably could change the name of the channel. But if that's your ultimate end game with this, then you may need to be a brand. And you want to sell the brand, right? That's fair enough. But I think for the majority of new YouTubers, and I hope this has helped you. I know I'm getting to the end now. If you're starting out and you're toying with, shall I have a fancy name? Shall I have some sort of quirky name um, for, to be known as? I think after a certain amount of videos and a certain amount of walking into people, especially these golf guys, I've talked to a lot of them. You know, you walk to a, you walk to a, you walk to a, into a golf course and you're known as the grumpy golfer or the happy golfer or the tattooed golfer or um, whatever it might be. If you're lucky, people will know your name. But if you're not, they'll just know you as whatever that golfer is. You know, I don't, I'm not picking on any of them names. and I don't think there's anything wrong with any of their names. But the happy golfer and the grumpy golfer changed their names recently. Um, I think you want people to know your name. I think you want to walk into a, into a building because you're quite narcissistic. You're a YouTuber. You want to walk in and people say, hey, Paul, how are you doing? I watched your latest video. It was great. Hey, so-and-so. Well, you know, whereas... You know, if I go through some of these, let me go back to this list. All right, let's, let me go back to the top ones. And let's just have a quick go through this just to finish off. This is this is my belief, right? Total subs, right? Me and my golf. Uh, I do actually know. I think they're Piers and Andy, aren't they? But they're obviously quite famous golfers. Brody Smith, top speed. I would not have known his name with Clay if he hadn't put his name on it. Amy. Scratch Golf Academy. I don't know that guy's name or lady's name. I think it's a guy. Uh, Danny Mord. GM Golf. I know it's Garrett. 
So GM, at least he's Garrett. Uh, but it's, I only know that because I went out, I went out of my way to find his name out in another video. Seb, obviously. Uh, Rotary Swing Golf, don't know his name. Golfholics, don't know their names. Uh, I've watched a few of their videos. I can't remember their names. Um, Mr. Short Game, no idea of his name. Uh, golf Logs, obviously it's Liam. Everybody knows Liam. Uh, because I think Liam does a lot of... Well, he does... He doesn't say in his videos, my name's Liam, but I think he does a lot on social media for helping people out. Golf Sidekick, no idea. Athletic Motion, no idea. TXG Golf, no idea. Be Better Golf, no idea. Uh, G GG Swings. Um, I thought I knew his name, but I, it's not coming to me. Yeah. Tubes is Peter uh, off Soccer AM. Well, it's Tubes, isn't it? But that's his nickname, so it's still his name, isn't it? Performance Golf Zone, no idea. Malaska's Mike Malaska, I think. Um, might be wrong there. So, uh, My Swing Evolution, no idea. Movement Towards Improvement, no idea. No Laying Up, that's a gang of lads, don't know their names. Fried Eggs, watch a lot, quite a few of his videos, don't know his name. Um, Four Play Golf, again, I think that's a, lot, a load of, I think it's a gang of lads, I don't know the name. Brian Brothers, I guess the last name's Brian. <laughs> Body Turn, South Korean, don't know his name. More Pass Golf, that lady, um, Lady, lady, lady. No, I can't remember a name. My Golf Spy. Don't know the name. Tall Striker. Don't know his name. Uh, Carter's Golf. It's uh, Yeah, because I followed him on Twitter. But average Golfer. I don't know the Average Golfer's name. I think it's David. David? Don't know his name, though. SAS Golf. Don't know his name. Right? I think you're getting the point as I go through. Golf Ticks, Xperia Golf, Stack Golf. Don't know the names. Golf text, golf smart, no. Two simple adjustments, no. Two bad golf, they're two famous comedians, but still can't. I won't be able to tell you their names. Graves golf, swing golf, quick fix golf. Don't know the names. Hope that helps. Hope it was interesting. Uh, I can do more videos like this if you're interested. I'll put together a place where we can probably get together and talk if you want me to. Uh, let me know what you think. See you all soon.